Oh, hi. Welcome to another film review. I'm Insane Mike. I'm Jason Bollinger. And you're here at Insane's Asylum. Or Emporium. Where it's Halloween all year round. Nice. Throw in this little tagline here. It's good. It's good. It's good. What film are we going to review now? So many to choose from. So little time. Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah. Yes, Freddy vs. Jason. Now, starting off, we should say that we are we are horror children of the 80s. And we grew up with a healthy dose of Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street films. So we are huge fans of iconic horror characters like Freddy and Jason and Leatherface and Michael Myers and Pinhead and Candyman. And the Leprechaun, and not so much the Leprechaun, not so much the Leprechaun, sorry. But, you know, our two faves are obviously Freddy and Jason. Mine being... In that order. No. It should be the other way around. They went alphabetically, that's dude. That's backwards. They went alphabetically, that's why it's the way it is. I it thought you'd should say be. it was best for last, but obviously it's because yeah. it's, it deserves said. top billing. Jason is Jason Voorhees is the best of the '80s maniacs. Dude, come on, he's waste. Let's, let's just talk about. This. I have two words okay. for you, Super Freddy. Dude, done. <laughs> Jason never. I got I got one word for you. Yeah, Manhattan. Freddy vs. Jason was, I mean, it had been several years since both franchises had their last entry. Well, I mean, they did do Jason X to kind of spark some interest back into the whole uh, Jason franchise before they moved on to this. That's my assumption of why they, why they did Jason X. But, uh, but still, though, since, like, the classic... Freddy and Jason that we grew up with, it had been several years since we've seen either of them cause any mayhem. And then finally after years of speculation of them doing this movie and it being in, um, you know, just never happening, they finally, you know, came out with Freddy vs. Jason with a pretty decent, in my mind, plot on how to get the two characters together. So, how do you get those two together? Well, easy, you know, Jason, and Jason goes to hell, he gets dragged down into hell at the end. So he's in hell where Freddy is, and bing da bomb da boom Freddy wants to come back and uses Jason to, uh, to strike fear in the kids on Elm Street again to, in order to resurrect Freddy and make him an all-powerful dream demon again. So. Does that sum it up pretty well? It's good enough. It's good it's enough. It's close. So, Thoughts on Freddy vs. Jason? Well, the the main thing that I love about the movie is that, to me, it was made for the fans. Us Absolutely. Us 80s children. Um, I know there's a team of people that don't like this movie, and I don't know why, but I, I feel that the, the, this it was written for us. I mean, there are so many nods to both franchises, the little things here and there, it, it stuck to continuity uh, as far as the characters. Um, it was the classic Freddy, it was classic Jason. It was so for us fans. Every little thing about it just made us giddy in the theater when we went saw it. Absolutely, and that, I mean, and there was no apologizing in this movie for that. I mean, it totally, totally was for the fans, and. You know, and they didn't try to cover it up by saying, you know, hey, this is really, you know, this is the next big horror film, you know, or whatever. But it's like, this was a fan film. That's totally what it was. Mm -hmm. So, and hooray for it. It's great. Love it. Yeah, and then, and it culminated with just the whole end of the movie, them two just battling it out. It was, you know, what we wanted. There was great build up, you know, getting the characters, great kills. You know, but then they definitely gave us the payoff with them fighting their asses off. Yeah, some great WWE SmackDown, 
you know, fighting going on right there at awesome. the end with some blood and guts thrown into the mix. I mean, it was everything you ever wanted when you were a kid playing, you know, playing with your Freddy and Jason action figures. I mean, everything you ever wanted to see in that film. Um, Did you just yeah. love it when, like, they pull Freddy out in the cabin or where it was and, like, he looks up, he's like, uh-oh. Man, this was that awesome. It was freaking awesome. And that music, dun 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 dun, dun. Yeah. And, fr and Freddy's just like, <laughs> and it's awesome. It's and then there's, so good. and I'm grabbing it, throwing it, uh, duking it, oh, it was awesome. It was. Uh, we saw it how many times in the theater? A lot. I think I saw it eight times, if I remember right. Yeah, seven, eight. Yeah, every time that moment happens, I stood up, woo! I remember the first time, like, we got a whole group of us going, and Flyboy and I, we dressed up, like, I was Jason, he was Freddy, and and uh, we went, and the kids that came out from the screening before came out, and they're like, oh, we just saw you guys get cut, <laughs> and uh, yeah. we were like stars, and it was awesome. Always, we're always stars. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> now, Comparative to the early works of these films, you know, Friday the 13th, you know, 1 and 2, or, you know, the original Nightmare on Elm Street, sure, Freddy vs. Jason is extremely hokey, and the characters, sorry, are not really scary anymore. But they are our superheroes, so it doesn't matter. What matters is seeing these characters that we grew up with and we love so much, beating the snot out of each other, and killing several teens in the process. And the movie delivers on those grounds. I mean, it was a—it was just a fun roller coaster ride of the film. Ronnie Hugh, who directed the film, gets it, gets that genre, gets that era of the genre, and you know, managed to um, make a brilliant film with this one for the fans. And the same thing with um, the Chucky franchise, with Bride of Chucky, he did the same thing. So he gets it. He knows. He knows how to um, appeal to to the '80s horror fans, '80s slash fans. So, so I'd have to say my biggest con in the film that there was several moments in the film that I thought the dialogue was extremely weak, and um, like my least favorite character in the whole movie. And it's a shame because I like the actor. I can't think of the actor's name, but he played the cop that teams up with the teams up with the kids, and he shows up at that yeah, one that one place where yeah. they're hiding out. And he shows up and gives them basically word for word plot. I mean, it, he was like reading the back of the DVD box. I mean, he was giving out a complete description of the whole entire plot of the movie. And it was just bad dialogue. Every time his character showed up, it was that. His character was there nothing more than to literally explain the plot to the audience. And, and it's too bad that I hate that character so much because the actor I like but I hate the character because um, his dialogue was the worst in the movie. The worst in the movie, so. <clears throat> and yeah, you just don't you just don't literally walk into a room and then give a piece by piece plot analysis of the whole of the whole movie. You we, know. We figured it out. Yeah. A little bit. So do you have any cons? No. No, I mean I'm Oh, I got one more con. Go ahead. And this being a Jason fan and knowing this movie was made for Jason and Freddy fans. Jason only has one eye. Done. <laughs> one eye the one eye was cut out after Friday thirteenth part four, the final chapter, uh, when he slid down the machete. And no matter what you could say about continuity in the Friday thirteenth films, they've kept that continuity ever since until Freddy vs. Jason. So I just had a problem with that. Just because like you can drive truck through um, continuity and plot holes in the Friday the 13th franchise, but that is the one thing they stayed consistent on. So I was a little disappointed that the one thing they've always stayed consistent on, they threw out the window for Freddy vs. Jason. So Yeah. So well, other other than that, yeah, I just I love the ending, how Freddy won, you know. Bull crap! <laughs> Jason won. Uh it was obvious. Wink. Hello. It was obvious. Toys severed head. What's he gonna do? Like bite his kneecaps? I don't think so. Jason won. Freddy had him where he wanted him. 
Jason obvious. won, and you can tell by all the all the comments down here below. No, those comments are saying Freddy rules. I'm reading between the lines. You can't even read. What? Is... Doesn't matter. Jason won. Whatever. All right. Well, thanks, right. guys. That was fun. Uh, yep. Thanks again check for watching this movie. Check it out, Fravers Jason. You know, if you're a fan of any of those films, definitely check it out. It's a good time. And Jason won. But. Pretty good. See ya. <laughs>